This is a, a kickoff slide for uh, the next subsection. We're talking about niche uh, extra services for uh, kind of bigger, better whales. Uh, if you think about um, uh, casinos, uh, they have a way of, of ranking, you know, who their <laughs> biggest customers, biggest losers are, um, and and trying to understand them in a in a in a deeper, more thorough way, trying to figure out how to induce them to come for junkets that stay a little longer, or a little bit better, or more enjoyable, uh, ease the pain of losing so much money, and uh, so. At the at, at the very large end, where we have very huge customers, we, we don't want to just go out and, and sell product for a price, uh, and at the risk of under-servicing and over-pricing them, giving a, making it us vulnerable to the competition coming and finding new compelling needs and filling them before we do. So, uh, and, and because the world's always changing, the environment changes, that puts pressures on our customers and they have to change to keep in tune with their environment. So we want to stay in touch with the changes uh, that, they're, that they're undergoing and see if we can't be part of that solution. So the first step we have to do is find a, um, a willing, progressive, bigger uh, customer. These are gazelles. Um, when we go out and say we love you and we want to walk through the place and follow our product and, and paper and talk to all the people that directly or indirectly are influenced by the product that flows through the place uh, and, you know, just kind of look at peripheral needs. Uh, and maybe we even start to get a little more formal flow chart the total process on both sides of the fence, that kind of stuff. Uh, and looking at the underlying economics of it all, we may find along the way new sort of pain or opportunity points. And that gives rise to, well, hey, if you've got that kind of pain, how about if I take it away? Find a need, fill it. The second thing is, can we do it at a cost that's less than the margin dollars we'll get so we can actually make a net profit on it? And a lot of times when we see pain in a, in a product, a physical product distribution channel, it's not like that kind of physical logistical pain hasn't occurred in other channels. Often big consumer channels will lead the way as far as what's possible. So uh, when we try to solve the problems, we don't usually have to come up with new ideas from scratch. We can actually go look at what, how they solve this type of pain in other channels and take that idea and adapt it to our own. And when we look at the different extra services we can do, uh, we certainly would want to sort of say, well, if we had a choice between, you know, two, three, four, five ideas, which one you pursue first, we have some criteria that would sort of say, well, uh, scoring these ideas on how, how huge pain, little cost to fill it, take care of it, you know, huge differential, profit potential, value delivered, um, can't be knocked off. There are a lot of re things that might be really good that'll help us zero in on the best opportunities. And in and, and three slides hence, I'll talk a little bit about these dream criteria. And then when we go to solve the problem, <clears throat> no, no need to sort of anticipate we can ride the bike perfectly the first time without falling off. We'd say, you know what? We're not going to get it right the first time, so let's just do some quick and dirty kind of experimentation, rapid prototyping, and then that'll give us something to start talking about, and we can brainstorm together and co-create a solution that's going to be low cost for me and high value for you, and uh, and and start to sort of invent uh, a new solution, a new product that way. Now, going forward, whether this will be bundled into the price of the goods we charge the customer, or it's unbundled for a fee, uh, e even for the large whales. Now, certainly for smaller customers, they don't they don't have enough volume to support uh, bundled in extra services. So the extra services can be available really to, in theory to anybody for a fee. Not that they would necessarily buy it. So those those are some uh, some key kind of. Uh, uh, chronological uh, guidelines that would go into thinking about identifying and, and creating and delivering uh, extra services for better customers in our number one niche. Thank you.